nomenclature of alcohols so first thing we have to remember uh, that at the place where we are alcohols take priority over everything okay that we know of later on things will change but right now alcohols take priority so which means that we have to uh, number closer to the alcohol now in the case of the first compound it's also on the first carbon so that helps we also still have to look for the longer chain so one two three four five so in this case this is going to be a pent something and then on the fourth carbon there is going to be a methyl group and on the fifth it's going to be a chloro okay so four chloro uh, excuse me five chloro four methyl pent pentane one all so the pen tells us that we have five carbons the one all tells us the location of the alcohol so you do have to number the one over here in order to show where the alcohol group is let's look at the second one in this we have uh, an alkene and an alcohol alcohol sticks still takes priority we also have the alcohol on the second carbon it doesn't mean we start the numbering there we still find the longest chain the priority means that you have to end your name with that, okay, the name of the compound. So that's what we have. On the third carbon, we also have a methyl group. So we have an ene and we have an all. The ene is going to be at the four. The all is going to be at two, okay? And then we have the three methyl, of course. And so the name of this compound will be then three methyl pent and so now with the pent over here um, we have to do the uh, alkene first so for pent four in two all okay and we do the all afterwards because all alcohol takes priority so with priority meaning you have to end with that okay all right number three uh let's see we're not all together there we go all right so here in a cyclic compound again uh, alcohols take priority to so you number from there so one two three four five six you make sure that you number towards the substituents just like we learned for alkanes it's the same thing so this is going to be two bromo four methyl okay and now we'll put that in order so two bromo Four methyl cyclohexanol. So you don't have to say one uh, over here because it's understood that your numbering started from the alcohol. All right. So you would do the you would say one if there was more than one alcohol or if there was another thing attached to the first carbon. Okay. But otherwise, since your alcohol is on the first carbon, it's understood your numbering started from there. As to the last one, so here you have an alcohol and an alkene and a cyclic compound. So we'll start the numbering from here, from the alcohol, and go towards the alkene, not away from the alkene. So include the alkene, two, three, four, five. So it's a pentene, cyclopentene. So this is going to become then cyclo pentenol. All right, you don't have to number anything over here because um, in this case, your alkene and alcohol on the same carbon, so it's understood they're both going to be one, okay? If it was not the case, so for example, if you had the alcohol here and the alkene over here, now in this case, it's not the same. So now you would say cyclopent, one, two, two ene, all okay so you still don't have to say one for the all because it's understood that that's where the alcohol is okay i hope uh it's okay